Hello and thank you for your interest in St. Catherine of Bologna School. The STEM education here at St. Catherine's challenges our students to learn skills with a purpose. To apply what they are learning to real life situations. To view their world's problems as their opportunity to find solutions that will benefit people and care for creation. The STEM hallmarks of communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity in a Christ-centered environment are lifelong anchors that provide a framework for seeing endless connections in the interdisciplinary approach that lead them to seek harmony and truth. Let's take a moment now to listen to what some of our families have to say. Hello, my name is Maria. This is Anna. My husband Paul and I live in West Milford. Anna is our only child. And when the time came to look around and decide on this school, Queen of Peace, which is our home parish, did not have a school, and we knew we wanted a home away from home in a school for her that focused on not only academic education, but also uh, growth as a person. Uh, we are multi multicultural. I'm from Venezuela, and I speak Spanish, it's my first language, and in looking at schools, and say looking at St. Catherine in particular, I was very impressed by the focus on more than just reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also Spanish from an early age. Uh, Mrs. Carr is phenomenal. Anna has learned so much of her Spanish from Mrs. Carr. I can't thank her enough, and they start at kindergarten, pardon, kindergarten or earlier. Um, they also, I, I like that they incorporate so many other extra classes. They learn about opera at kindergarten and music. They focus on the science, the technology, the engineering, all of the well-rounded school. So they are teaching not just the academics, they're teaching so many other things, and they're teaching them how to be good, pe good people. Um, so my name is Aaron Mandel. I am an inter. I'm Jewish. My wife is Lutheran. We have one daughter who's in second grade. And when we started looking around for schools, I had to admit that I was a little nervous about a Catholic school. I had no experience with it. Uh, we started interviewing different schools, and we went to the Catholic school that we chose. It became instantly evident that the principal and the staff w was just immensely there for the students. You can tell the love, the caring, how important the education was. And to be honest with that, at that point I'm like, I'm not worried about it. We're, I, we're not gonna have any issues here. You know, it was clear to the principal, my religious background, you know, my wife's religious background. And we've just been in that school for three years. We have not had a single issue with being the difference in religions. Um, I think it's wonderful that my daughter is learning about a different religion other than my wife and I may have at the house. Sister Teresa does a great job. Uh, she's a very loving, caring person and extends herself out to the children. I've seen her here on some of the mornings when the buses are, uh, are arriving. And uh, like I, uh, I think my wife may have said, uh, I'm sorry, my daughter said earlier, she knows every child coming off and she uses that name to say good morning to them. and. Uh, that personal touch, I think, is very important. I'm Mary Ann Zapponi, and I've taught here for about 22 years. Um, my children went to this school, Melissa, and then I had Allison, and then I had Donna. And Donna went to Montague, and she will probably be coming here with her son next year. And we have one already in, and one that's ready to come in. So we're... Um, Big proponents of St. Catharines. We came here about 30 years ago and we were very impressed with St. Catharines. Their sign at the bottom of Skyline Drive next to the reservoir had talked about a family of families and we've been here ever since. And we also had put our children in right away. Uh, Melissa was the first one to attend. And then eventually what happened was um, I became involved with the school. 
I was doing lunch duty for a while, and then after lunch duty, I was doing class mom, and then after class mom, um, I sub, <laughs> and then from subbing, I came into here. And yeah. My name is Melissa Kearney, and I've been here since kindergarten, and they were talking about a family of families, and some of my closest friends are from here are still close with, they call them aunts and uncles still, even though they're not biologically aunts and uncles. These are two of my children. This is Declan, he's in second grade. Donovan will be coming in next year. I actually uh, not only graduated from here, but I uh, taught here for three years. And now I'm back, not only with these two, but I also helped uh, with the school functions and helped with fundraising and helped with the initiation of the Alumni Association. So we're working on with that as well. Hi, I'm Diane. This is my husband, George, and these are our children, Lucas, who's five and attends St. Catherine at, in kindergarten. And here's Felix, who's three, and also attends St. Catherine's at preschool. We've been in Ringwood for about seven years, and this is our first year with both children attending St. Catherine. They were both in another school, and we took Felix out because we weren't happy with the parent-teacher ratio and we found that Felix needs a little more attention and that one-on-one -on -one, uh, TLC that we're very happy St. Catharines uh, provides. Lucas on the other hand was doing just fine in another school. He didn't need that extra attention which is why we brought we just started him in kindergarten but what we what we liked or what we value about St. Catherine is that it's a parochial school and we made our decision because we like the philosophy of balancing faith and education. And we wouldn't have sent, I would not have sent my children if I wasn't impressed with the education they were getting. We wanted the education, we wanted the academics, but we also wanted it to be weaved in with the spirituality of things. And one of the things that had really caught our attention was the fact that the kids were brought to church, but they were also involved with the masses. So that gave them both sides. And it's interesting being on the other end as a teacher and having to put all of this together along with keeping up with the times. And I know people sometimes will say, oh, teachers have it wonderful because they're off for the summer, they're off for the winter. This is a school where I have seen teachers going to school during the summer, going to school during their breaks, being on the computers for hours, looking for new things to do. And I think it's evident when you see some of our students coming out and they understand the new technology, they've used the new technology, and they've actually helped the teachers with the technology, which is great. <laughs> okay. I, I believe that when you send kids, especially to this school, uh, you you set them up uh, to, to already perform better uh, in high school and beyond college and then hopefully professional life. Uh, the, the foundation is laid now. And, and Hazel Tony, can you speak to this is a little bit more detail about how STEM is incorporated into before and after care programs and what that means for the children and the homework assistance that's provided? I'm trying to keep that inquiry going with the students in the morning. Um, it's not just, I don't want it to just be drop your children off and let them just hang. Um, they would play ball out here in the hallway. Uh, they would, we were going around looking for the elf on the shelf. Um, and then we would, I think Declan could probably talk about this a little bit better. We had a search for dinosaur bones yesterday. We've done activities and investigations with water. A little messy, but it works. And I just wanted to continue that. Uh, you always have the student, if you remember, your youngest little sitting in the car saying, Mommy, why? Daddy, why? Why, 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 why? Well, now they can use the whys. And they can help themselves. And that's what I want to continue in the morning. So it's not just a school participation. We can do it. And I sometimes just leave the things out so that they can pick it up on their own. Whatever it seems to 
catch their eye at the moment so that they can just pick it up. And they'll say to me, can I go out and this needs water? Can I go get the water? Sure, you can go get the water. Do me a favor. Let's put in a bigger one and then we'll put it into the little one. Um, we can have water dripping in my classroom, but not in the hallway. <laughs> that kind of thing. But yes, I have incorporated the STEM because I do feel it is something that the children can go with and they can be creative and not inhibited anymore and answer all their questions of why, 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 why. It is, it is very difficult to, to find the right place that will make your child excel every single year progressing on the last year of their school and so that they can reach higher education. You have to have a solid foundation if you want your children to excel in our, in our changing world and our changing society. And I think St. Catherine does a great job in giving these kids the foundation, the positive foundation, the structure that they need in order to meet those challenges. So let me tell you a little bit about our STEM program. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. We incorporate all of the subjects, including religion, and we, the teachers, are just beyond going to the inquiry method, which means, uh, as I said, uh, the why. You have a student, you have a child, constantly saying why. Why, why, why this? Why is the sky here? Why, why, mommy, are we doing this? Why, why, why? Now they can act upon it. And we have teachers that will incor uh, actually try to draw out of the student more creativity, more of what it is that STEM is all about. The engineering design is the most important. So if the investigation that the students are doing doesn't work, then it's please try again. See what you can get out of it. Investigate. Use the iPads. Use the laptops. Research. See what it is that you need. Then, at the end, if you come up with something that's wonderful, if you don't, that's wonderful also. I think that the biggest thing that I've seen happening with STEM is that all of us, the teachers, all get together. We try to work out something. Mrs. Mink does a reading with the children, a book, a novel. And then Mrs. Sparkman does a math program with the students. And then they come together and they create this STEM design of some sort. Uh, they had to create a, um, a winter jacket to see if it would keep someone warm for under 32 degrees. And it went along with a novel that they were reading. And then came in the science part of it, and then the materials. We also had a school program called Mad Science, and the students that went to that program were thrilled with some of it. Um, the teacher was so dynamic. She, I wanted to stay in the class. She was just so dynamic. We want the students to be excited that the STEM that comes in, even though it's an investigation, even though they need to solve a problem, and boy, they can really solve them. They really have some great ideas. When these students become adults, it'll be amazing to see what they can do. Um, and also keep that spirituality about them. You know, they really would want us as teachers would really want them to come out of this school with the knowledge that they have academically, but also the spirituality that we try to impart on them. Uh, Sasha is in the fourth grade, Dallas is sixth grade, and Devin is first grade. And this is our first year at St. Catharines. Uh, we transferred from another school in the area um, and the children have loved the school uh, since their first visit actually um, as visitors last year. Um, we chose St. Catharines because of uh, the affordability for our family that was really important but we also um, in terms of looking for a school that was affordable we were look we did not want to sacrifice um, the strength in academics that was really really important for us. Um, St. Catharines has a reputation for outstanding curriculum. The STEM program um, is phenomenal. Uh, this has been a very nurturing environment for our children, which was really important, uh, having to, coming from a different school um, that they started in kindergarten and first grade. Um, the children have told us that they've been welcomed by staff 
by their classmates and other families as well. Um, we are thoroughly pleased with uh, Sister Teresa and the teachers here. Um, and I don't think we could have made a better choice. I'm actually regretting not having come here sooner. I also think it's evident too. I mean, we look at the building, the building is old. But the infrastructure, the foundation that we give to the students and that the teachers want to give to the students. I uh, can't tell you, one of the students came in not too long ago and they said, oh, you have no clue what I remember taking away from this. Mrs. Patrick Hall used to tell us, you know, when you watch your hands, when you shake hands with a person, make sure you mean it. It means a lot in business. Or, you know, your first impression is what you need, so dress appropriately. All of those things that we teach here, we really and truly are looking for the students to succeed beyond our school. And it's evident in a lot of ways because you have these students coming back to us. I mean, first you say, oh my goodness, you're making me so old. But on the other hand, you're looking and you're saying, wow, you know, I was a part of that. Or, you know, I, I want my students and my grandchildren to be a part of that. And that is what it's all about. We look at Sister Teresa, we look at what she instills in us. She allows the teachers to go with it. If she, we see something new, we bring it to her, she says, go with it. If it looks like it's going to be good for the students, then do it. Uh, she's extremely supportive with the teachers, and in the stories that I've heard out beyond St. Catharines, I have heard where people were saying, oh my goodness, my administration. Or now we have Father Pavel who comes in and supports us, and, and he's with the students, comes into the classrooms. Sometimes the teachers will cringe because he gets them a little riled up, but it's great. I think it's great for the kids. I, I love that for my, my grandson. When I see him and he's raising his hand, answering a question, whether it's in church or in the classroom, and it's, it's just a wonderful atmosphere. We are St. Catherine of Bologna School. Yay! I hope you have enjoyed sharing and um, the experience of a day in the life of our children here at St. Catherine of Bologna School. Our educational excellence is grounded in the tenets of STEM, the hallmarks, communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. That's the basis of helping our children make the connections of what is experienced here and the world around them. Most importantly, though, is our striving to balance education and faith. Faith in Jesus Christ, living and loving as he did. I'd like to thank those who made this video possible, to those who support St. Catharines all the time, and for those who are dedicating themselves to the future of St. Catharines so that generations to come may enjoy the experience. Thank you, and may the Lord give you his peace.